So we're back in the studio right here at Lagos Talks 91.3 FM. Let's make some money. Every day, money matters. I mean, it's my birthday and every day money matters is here. Well, it's not a mere coincidence. There's a purpose for that. And I saw the reason I'm saying this loud on air is uh, just in case I need you to help me appreciate the Narometrics team. Because I saw them coming in with a bag and a kind of smile this morning. I'm just assuming. I'm just assuming. That's... <laughs> that's not the bag is not filled, filled with documents. <laughs> Good morning, Kaya. Yeah. Happy birthday again. Good Thank morning. you, Giva. Thank Good you, Tulu. Good morning and happy birthday. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. What's up this morning? We're going back to the house, Kaya. We're going back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> and and today's conversation, I'm, hmm. I'm pretty sure there will be a lot of questions. Yourself and Mecca. And Mecca. <laughs> <laughs> So today, right, yeah. we are um, we are talking about the well. The topic is um, should your your partner know how much you earn? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. You understand? Yeah. Should your partner know how much you earn? Mm. Uh, so it definitely comes with its pros and cons, mm -hmm. and um, uh, with trust and um, transparency, transparency as well in the marriage. But mm. we just want to. You know, see both sides of the fence today. You understand, mm. uh, and um, we're going without further ado. I, I I'll throw the first question right out, right? Yeah, yeah go ahead. And this point to everybody. Mm. So, what what exactly are the benefits, you know, of um, being open about your earnings with your partner? I think ladies, you talk first. Ladies first, right? Yeah. Okay. So, Tolu, preach. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, your partner, mm -hmm. exactly. You have to be open. But, you know, financial openness can be tricky, you mm -hmm. know. So it's not just about, oh, this partner. You must know that this partner is someone that is serious. Not just jumping from partners and then you're trying to open up. Oh, this is what I earn, this is what I earn, and all mm -hmm. of that. But, like, there are benefits of, you have to it helps you plan ahead for the future you know when you're open with your partner that this is what i earn it helps in planning it helps in budgeting mm -hmm. for the future basically okay mm. benefits tola has dropped hers Mm. We're going around with so Oh, we're going around there. Yes. I thought I was the eh? host. You, you, I thought I'd be asking yeah, the question. Trust me, there's time. Everybody, there's time for everybody. <laughs> no, but really, when, when it comes to this, you know? wife is, yeah, yeah, and it's your <laughs> birthday, and I'm eating, I'm supposed to eat a special meal today, <laughs> so <laughs> I need to. <laughs> I don't know why you're doing this topic today of all days. <laughs> I, was, I was laughing, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I was laughing. Oh, right. oh, no, when it comes to partnership, um, yeah. It's it's whether open or not. Um, I think it's more of an individual space. What's the benefit of being in an open partnership? Yeah, it's not always you have a benefit for uh, being uh, having that kind of you know open uh, discussing everything. It's not always. Yeah. If you marry the wrong person, I discuss. Yeah, you're you finished. You're finished. You know. So it's uh, it's not all about benefits, but what are the impacts? Mm -hmm. If you marry to the right person, um, you that person could help you manage your money better, whether male or female. Yeah. It will help you take decisions on your finances. Mm -hmm. That's a major benefit of it. Um, if you marry to the wrong person, um, you might be disrespected because of what you earn, mm -hmm. or you might even end up losing everything because you hear, "But you earn this amount now. Let's spend this. About let's buy this. Let's mm -hmm. do that." And you'll be able to plan. So it depends on what side of the aisle you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether you've been blessed or you've been cursed. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm also of that opinion. Like, uh, okay, so obviously I'm speaking from a guy's point of view. Yes, I mean, yes. So, mm -hmm. um, as much as, you know, um, transparency, you know, is very healthy, right, mm -hmm. for the relationship, right? Um, I also think, uh, in some cases, like you said, depending on the kind of partner you have, right? So you might have a partner that's just like spending right mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily mean she doesn't love you yeah right? of course start, yeah, and, she, and what you said is critical yeah. it doesn't mean she doesn't love yeah, you she but she's just yeah. Yeah, plagued she just with that, this yeah. and she knows you're earning a certain amount mm. right and it can be a problem if she if she's very aware mm. because 
for almost everything, she's coming down to you to buy this. Yeah. Some irrelevant things, things that you guys don't necessarily even mm -hmm. need. You understand? You'll be thrown into that basket, right? Because you always have to spend. After all, uh, and if you say, uh, babe, I'm broke. Uh, but what have you done now? She'll be stuck in the So you're supposed to still have this, right? So you know. So he still has his um his cons, but um, like I said, I think I would um give her the confidence, you know, to let her know that um to know my capacity, right? Mm. But I won't necessarily give a a figure, right? You know, just just so there's some suspense there. So. Mm. So, you know, you can help me manage the money and yeah. so I can be a better husband financially. Financial. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but some would say that the fact that you're not even able to disclose mm -hmm. your um your earnings to your wife because you're scared she'll mismanage it means you're not man enough. If you're man enough, you're going to tell her this is what I earn and this is what we're spending. Nothing more, nothing less. You yes. deal with it. I'm the man of the house. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, how 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 many times, how many times are you going to put your foot down and be the man on the house when mm. she keeps on coming back for more? Uh, nobody can, and because I'm a guy, you that's why you're speaking. Ah, two ah, ways to yeah. so let's not let it not be like I'm, uh, um, you know, um, facing the female. Mm. Right? It's just because I'm a guy. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, what do you do if she keeps coming back? That's mm. why you need to dates within your tax bracket wow dates within your tax bracket yeah. right okay i like yeah, that can, can you speak out a bit louder please yeah. i need i need to hear that again yeah i mean that's why you need to date within your, within tax. your tax bracket date yeah. within yeah. your tax bracket that's going on my ex handle yeah. this morning yeah. Date and um, that expression is going on my ex handle. Date within your, your tax, tax bracket. bracket which is very good right mm. which she has brought in and i actually like that but yeah. there's a difference right there's still always a difference, right? The fact that you guys got married, she she also had the confidence that you probably be able to take care of her and the family. Likewise, you yourself. Mm. But sometimes there's just there's just no line, there's just no ending to it. But we've already I guess we've already highlighted highlighted that mm -hmm. fact that you need to know who you are going to, you know. Yeah. If dating. When you're dating or getting married. Getting married. Dating, yeah. child. I'm not even telling her, forget. <laughs> so what if my wife yes but dating oh, okay. what, what, what do you want to know but you need to test i mean the the what's this expression about something of the pudding is in the eating is it yes yeah uh, the of the pudding yeah, is, is uh -huh. the so pudding. for you to know if this man is worth marrying let me see how well you're able to these girls with this side. <laughs> how many you get <laughs> i don't get how many you get, get you one. should have one <laughs> not all of them <laughs> Uh, uh, most of them were above my tax bracket. <laughs> <laughs> so I ran away. <laughs> you know. Oh my. Um, I guess. I guess. I guess we've highlighted that. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but, but but how can you know? Um, financial is um. What's the word? I say financial is. We talk too much financial. You know. Financial secrecy. Secrecy. Right? Okay. Um, how how can it lead to like trust issues? You know, in, in the relationship, right? We've already highlighted. Okay, mm. we know the benefit, the benefit and cost, yeah, right? Yeah. But so, what about? Um, I, I think let, let, identifying the things that will probably lead to trust issues. Mm. You know how it, it, it gets there, right? And so, for me, um, like we already said, it, it's um, it, it, when one partner hides, you know his or her income to a certain degree oh sorry better for me yeah. Yeah, yeah so i think when one partner hides um his or her um, income or even financial habits right mm. it, it, it 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 tends to create some form of be feelings rather of um, betrayal you know when the truth finally comes out okay you get and um so it causes suspicions and doubts so if um the husband now has been complaining there's no money there's no money this that and he just comes back home with mm. one new device or car you understand yeah. meanwhile we don't discuss for how so we should have gotten this and mm. he just comes back you know from nowhere you, you know the partner will be be you know suspicious yeah where did this come from now how, how, how i thought this guy said he's broke mm. or he she or she says he's broke right mm. 
and the, the partner the, the person that's on even on the receiving end uh, is probably in a situation whereby oh this my partner has really tried let me even try and start working to see how i can support him or her mm-hmm. blah blah in the midst of having that thoughts and depriving yourself to save money to you know support your partner your partner just shows up with one sharp device <laughs> or something that <laughs> This is, and he's telling you this is the latest. He just came out today and he says to buy it. Yeah, exactly. He's had to buy it. You'll be looking at is this one all right? <laughs> so, 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 um I think uh, I mean as uh, that's one of the ways I um you know I feel it will actually definitely cause um, some trust issues. Mm. I'm not married, so um I think that's as deep as I can go. But um <laughs> the likes of Coyote and Mecca can add to it. Eh? Can you? You can do you, you as well. Add, yeah, yeah. Give us she your can. Um, sometimes you just have to be secretive about your mm. finances as well. Mm-hmm. Even though you are dating within your tax bracket, from the woman's point of view, mm-hmm. there are women out there who earn more than their spouse, and then you know, at the end of the day, the man knows that oh, this is the amount of money my wife's my partner earns, and then he reduces the way he takes care of her. He feels that oh yeah, she can afford certain things mm-hmm. do you understand it's not just about aff- affording certain things it's also about the thoughts mm-hmm. of you spending your money on your partner as well mm-hmm. so in even though being honest about your financial status to your partner can reduce stress on the partner and all of that but at the same time it can also you know lead to um not full taking full responsibility mm-hmm for your partner as well okay that works so what if uh, no, don't, don't ask any what's if for <laughs> okay let me just she, she has <laughs> awoken <laughs> the man in mecca yes so yes. mecca is about to vocalize <laughs> mecca, <please laughs> come, come uh, okay uh i'll i'll start from this uh this point of view first is um in the nigeria of today that we find ourselves mm. and with the current state of the ec- ec- economy yeah uh, i'll tell you that partnership is a major way or a driver to even sustaining some families yeah. right now mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. Um, um you know inflation is high food inflation is high and uh, maybe the man is earning let's say three hundred thousand naira, mm. and the woman to maybe about 400 or three at the same and uh, the same rate same and let's say mm. the amount you you're you're trying to now say okay i don't want to reveal what I earn, and she's saying she's not revealing what she earn. But at this point in time, it it takes two to actually achieve a whole lot because maybe what you can just go out and say um, with my own this thing. I don't want her to know. If I just remove hundred k, I can get it, all the food stuff in the house. Mm-hmm. I know. But if you remove that, it's not even buying what you want. So mm-hmm. this is where you have to now come and say, okay. So I'm trying to say with, with what we're going through right now in Nigeria. I don't. There's no way you want to say. You want to hold this back or hide this. You have mm. to come to the table and say, okay, this is what we have. You have this, I have this. Mm. How do we plan with what we have? Mm. Okay, we have um, this for groceries. We have this for this thing. We have this for savings. Mm. So are we getting a car? Are we getting a house? What are we doing? So if mm. if if you say you want to hold on to your own self and say this, is, you, will, you will just die of uh, high blood pressure. <laughs> because there will be no, there will be no help yeah and because she, she's she will, she will assume or he will assume that you are capable you're able to sort out everything mm-hmm. but if you come out come out open and say oh this is what it is oh 300k and how do we go about it and it's okay i can add up this from what i have and this is how we support each other to actually get to that point so i think you like um we've mentioned started in uh, the show with saying mm-hmm. if it it now depends on who your partner is and mm. their own orientation about finance so yeah. that is why we we advise people to talk um to get yeah. talk like so i said and also understand financial literacy understand mm. budgeting savings planning understanding how to even grow whatever thing is coming into that family mm. okay are we taking out this for investment monthly we, but if you don't if there is no idea of what the income is mm. it will be very difficult to actually you achieve plan. a whole lot of planning mm. budgeting and getting that family running or, or else as a man you just make there'll be too much assumption and you're just spending even more than what you earn and you are in debt mm. and they also and the woman also thinks that okay this person is actually doing good because you're not talking so i i I think all men 
or any any partner no, to speak out. Him, and I say, <laughs> point of <view. laughs> I say, I say, this is what it is, oh, mm. and how do we go about handling what we have? Mm. If there is anything extra, maybe you can keep that one. Oh, so but <laughs> this is the standard of what yeah. comes into this family, and this is how we should mm. uh, we should spend those. And, and I think that there, there are two funds. I like to take part of what he said and part of what Tulu said. Yeah. Tulu said something there and saying that. Uh, uh, so, for example, from the point of view of a lady, she spoke. She yeah. said, "If a man knows what you earn, he might not take care of you as much." Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think that fear is actually realistic. A lot of people it feel is, that way, is, yeah. even on the side of the man as well. That if I, if he knows I earn this, he might not contribute to the family. Mm-hmm. And that's why I'm tying the two together because, like Mecca said, the family as it is now. What our fathers did back then is a bit different from what we do now. Our fathers Completely were the ones different. working. Our mothers just stay at home and babysit. Mm-hmm. Now women go to school. Mm-hmm. They graduate. We even have best students in schools being women, yeah. which is normal. We have the but same top, capacities. Top, top uh, personnel in banks. Exactly. Now. Yeah. Yeah. You know? so. so right now you're bringing, you're expected to bring something to the table. Yeah. And I would say that um, we make one mistake in marriage in our part of the world. We believe that a man is there to provide money mm-hmm. that is not the primary role of a man in the house mm-hmm. the primary role of a man in the house is to provide leadership mm-hmm. under leadership you have money you have uh, respect security. you have security you yeah. have so many things yeah. money is just a subset of what is meant to do yeah. that's why Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, I don't want to flip it. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, go on. Go on. Where you so, yeah. so at the end of the day, right now, where you are, if you're blessed enough, even if your man is a dangote, mm-hmm. you should not say, okay, this thing is finished in the house, or let me wait. Wait for him. You should be able, since you work, be able to do certain things. A woman mm-hmm. should not say, oh, he has the money now, let him spend it on us. Mm-hmm. Both parties are working for the family. It's just that the man might be richer, and he will oh, spend all the money. Whoever earns more should take should most t- of the well. Uh, well, if, if the man's pride will allow it, that's, that's <laughs> what I'm going to do. If that's the man's pride will allow it, allow it. <laughs> 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 so, so there, there's a uh, there, there's this um uh, thing that trend. I think it was last year or so. Yeah. Um, that uh, a woman went to the 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 school, the children's school. They're asking for school fees and all. Mm. So the woman went to the school, made payment for the school fees yeah. mm-hmm. but inform the headmaster and everybody mm-hmm. that they should sure. pressure the husband that you should they've not uh, <laughs> these school fees have not been paid there's a problem in that house this fees have not been paid so the man is it's going so like real. struggling and it, hard to, really? to get to get that to get that mm. so how do you now balance like if that man should find out that okay this <coughs> man actually have the capacity to sort this out and mm-hmm. sort it out but she now made it look like she hasn't saw the yeah, like trust issues that coming. Can no, come no, back. no, 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 really trust issues. It might be okay, trust issues it might can come be in, but it, of this exactly. That's what I was coming to. That it might have been the, yeah. the um, what was irresponsibility okay. of the man, yeah, but it's so easy, right? Yes. To throw irresponsibility into it, mm. which, no, yeah. which applies, it mm-hmm. applies, it's yeah. also but. What if the guy hasn't just found his feet yet? No, I mean, no, that happens. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. If that's why I said there's a problem in that family. Yeah. If you know the man is struggling, nothing stops you from it's helping. Yeah. But if you know he's a man that will, once he makes money, oh give her, maybe we'll hang out. Oh guy, maybe we'll hang out. I won't pay the children's like, school like, fees. Like, you know that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. You yeah. might want to, yeah. but it's just yeah. unfortunate that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just unfortunate now now the school is coming into it and they are seeing the shame mm-hmm. in the family that the man is this or the woman it could go either way. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. could mean that like you said, the man hasn't found this footing yet and mm-hmm. the man feels saying is the man he should do more and mm-hmm. the man is killing himself he might even is reduced his lifespan by 20 years of just course. because he's looking for money mm-hmm. so all those things come to play and it is important that as a people like mecca said this is the time for you to work as united nations mm-hmm. this is it so you come together and you build yeah. and but again a lot of them are useful. I don't know what you want to say I don't know what you want to say where is he a lot of these things right yeah do not start after marriage yeah. you started 
pre for marriage you know how it thinks you know what she wants you know the expectation mm. at that point that's when people make the decisions yeah except, except for those who have traditional beliefs mm -hmm. during marriage oh, well, this girl they spend oh, she no go know much i hear lie 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 lie, lie. lie, lie. Oh, this guy is so responsible but i love you now we're going to keep my money I will you know that's when all these things are yeah uh, arrived at but either way man yeah, okay. as long as you're okay with this in your so family about the situation right uh -huh. of a woman that has that belief that is the man must do everything mm. in the house and all that and she earns more than him and if the man knows that he has that belief he should know he will do all the spending well what if so if she's earning i don't want to use figures right so we don't be tr to trivialize it right so she's just earning maybe times three of what he's earning and the this guy um, um he has been paying try doing his best mm -hmm. rent school and mm -hmm. everything all of a sudden she probably gets promoted and bam triple his salary mm -hmm. she says they want to change they, they need to change their school yeah then they she's ready to, to go you know, now what you're saying move, right move, move to banana island yeah. I mean, that's always a reference yeah. point. So, yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> John, so mm -hmm. what about that situation it, this is not even a word it's not about what about is mm -hmm. it's the, what you said now is an experience yeah that i saw in a family yeah close family of us in Ghana yeah. the wife felt that you know, I, I'm not sure if you know this actress Jackie Appiah the Ghanaian yeah. actress yeah yeah yeah, yeah um, I know, I know. there's a school she stays around at Denta I think at that time in mm. Ghana and there's a school where a child um, you know that child attends and this family the wife told the husband that is the school I want mm -hmm. my child to go and the husband kills himself kills himself literally yeah. to work now they are the first child when they're then the second child comes and goes to a you know another another preschool and it's time to go to the primary school says no that is the school you must go to mm -hmm. you know the husband has been trying managing he just say you know what i'm withdrawing both of them from, from that school, school. <laughs> if you want your kids to go to that school pay for it you're going to pay for one child mm -hmm. and the man will still do everything yeah and uh, reluctantly she started paying the mm -hmm. school fees of one of the children mm -hmm. business went down for the man at some point mm -hmm. so if you want disgrace us no problem we all be in this, this together yes, i don't yes. have school to face to pay mm -hmm. except you're going to pay in advance when i make money i will refund it back. reluctantly she started paying the two then when the husband gets money you'll refund but you see it all goes boils down to what we said who are you did you marry a good yeah, wife I was going to are, that. did she She's complete you wife. or is she finishing you because that's what happened if you marry a bad wife you're, you're finished, finished. You're finished. You're marry finished. a good wife yeah you're complete so, i mean what would you say about a man being like he can't handle the fact that his wife or his partner earns more than him for example i i know someone that went on a date mm -hmm. and then she told him that oh yeah i wanted to take you out with my own money to like you know get to know you and all of that and mm -hmm. when she got to the place of course the waiter brought the bill and the the gave it to the guy mm. okay but we're not going into that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then when he saw the bill he was like oh my god how would you spend such amount of money mm -hmm. i mean we should have taken the money to the grocery to shop and, and all of that and yeah. what how do you expect her to feel now that she's been she has not even told you how much she earns she mm -hmm. just took you out and then you are behaving this way so how do you expect her to like open up to her partner about how much she earns mm. uh, she she if she's willing to um take him out on a date and spend that much i think um she should continue if me if she can right yeah. because that's who she is do you understand the husband just gets to know uh, or realize in real time yeah, right, that this guy is what it. i'm working with right mm. and i mean for a lot of guys we're not even going go, i'm not going to go and um, say that without you know speaking on the guys um side so a lot of guys uh, will get this um complex from this thing once oh, your yes. wife is ending and after some time he, he starts behaving uh you know funny because he can't deal with it again likewise some women also um um that earn more than their, their husbands also get very disrespectful mm. you know mm. some of them forget the, the fact that before the husband um, fell short he was you know playing his part to a certain yeah. degree so i think for me because i've had this discussion with somebody before so for me if i fall into that situation where my um partner um earns more than me yeah. right um hopefully for me to be um after 
you know some balance mm. and things have been going right so i will i will try my best you know um to communicate with her and just make her understand that i need to do this right mm. these are the things i've been doing just leave it for me please yeah do you understand well, you might have your standards mm. yes but um i'm i'm working to get better i'm working to make more yeah. money i'm working to go so even if it's the house rent and the school fees mm. just leave that one for mm-hmm. me please uh, well you know all, all this it, it, it boils down to like i said we've spoken about tradition we've spoken mm-hmm. about a couple of other things but what the scenario she painted in my view does not show the woman as proud no, it actually no, shows the woman as somebody that loves the guy that, yeah. that's willing to spend what she has mm-hmm. to make the guy happy which is I hard mean, to come by which is hard to come by and the guy as well is a good guy saying that guy you get this money of the, re- the waiter oh, well, and maybe the, no no hold on too. maybe the guy might be bull she's not embarrassing to the lady he's actually embarrassing to the guy so now so you shivish you know that kind of thing that's all the guy now your money keep quiet my brother yeah. you know that kind of thing so it all depends on how we look at it and uh, the kind of conversation we have around it the guy saying guy let's save this money shows that as a lady if you spend so much this is not a guy that will be all over your money mm-hmm. but let's go and blow it okay. yeah. he wants you to make good use of, the money. of that money he might have come out the wrong way for all the ways maybe the guy never spent that ca- half of that woman before mm-hmm. he won't spend it and i say shoo he won't kill me he won't me yeah i feel you yeah that kind of thing so it does happen but like i mean you said it all it's just a case of let's um let's just uh Let's just understand ourselves. So, okay. Pre-wed, uh, I said pre-wed. Yeah, pre-wed, mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, have that conversation. Mm-hmm. Understand mm-hmm. who your guy is. If you're dating an attempt at love, for example, if I were to be dating DJ Copy, I'm married, so I'm not making advances at our business. Me, you okay, me. you, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, you yeah, don't mind. Yeah. Don't give her. If you were dating DJ Copy now, Amen. Yeah. and money and your money <laughs> may be mates. <laughs> so all. if she decides to, you know, she wouldn't be eating burger and do every time. Mm. She would like to go to the restaurant. Yes. You should know that out of three times you go to a restaurant in a month mm. she has the capacity to pay for all three but can say let me pay for one let me pay for one mm. i'm going my own joints yes. to be new to her <laughs> anyway to be, to be interesting <laughs> yeah. like, wow so these things exist they exist yeah. no i haven't <laughs> been there before yeah. you say the songs are so 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 <laughs> anyway <laughs> Uh, you know the arsenals are you know when they get in they get a bit um, yeah, yeah, you know, aggressive yeah, so we need to we need to knock it off we need to knock <laughs> off the show right now thank you my darling so thank you so much uh, for coming to the studio uh, we really yeah, appreciate your time once again thank thank you. You. Thank thank you. Guys. Um, guys you can watch us up on um Excellent. on spotify and our youtube page um uh, metrics just go there we have um most of all our podcasts there for you know for you to view and listen you can also double up on spotify as well